Saturday, February 24th, 2024. Written by Daniel. The book of Genesis, chapter 16, verse 13. Hagar asked herself, Have I really seen God and lived to tell about it? So she called the Lord, who had spoken to her, a God who sees. Hagar was running away. She had no idea where she was going. The only thing she knew was that she was running away from Sarai. The angel of the Lord called her by name. I can imagine the expression on her face when the angel told her to go back to her mistress and submit. She knew very well the angel was aware of how she had behaved in her mistress's home after finding that she was pregnant. Immediately, she realized she had seen God. Hagar was wandering in the wilderness, and she was pregnant. With the harsh conditions, probably she would have died together with her child in the wilderness. As a gay man, I know the feeling of being in the wilderness, running away from myself. I have struggled to love my own body. I hated my soft voice. I was ashamed of talking in public as people would laugh at me. I never looked at myself in the mirror. I admired men with deep voices and I was so much ashamed to show it. I was taught that desiring same-sex persons was sinful and should be denied. I moved from my village with the hope of starting a new life where no one knew me. I was trying to fit in a new environment and I made new friends that turned out not to be too good to be called friends. I was introduced to hard drugs, and I lost focus in life. I found myself in hospitals many times as a result of an overdose. I begged to die, but I lived. Each one of us has their turning points. Mine came during COVID-19. Town life had become unbearable because of lockdown. I decided to go back to the village. I had no idea how I was going to survive as a gay man in the village, but I found a God who sees. I was introduced to Pastor Megan, and I felt like I had met with an angel in the wilderness. We started a home fellowship for LGBTQ plus Christians in our village and surrounding villages. In the fellowship, I met with a friend who is an expert in farming. We were lucky to secure a grant from Parity that enabled us to start farming in a large scale. Going back in the village was so humbling, but this is where I found my blessings. Sometimes we just have to submit to the circumstances we don't like for things to work out. I know we have many LGBTQ plus persons who are suffering in our society. It is my prayer that in their messy situations, they will find a God who sees, the one who cares enough to know our past, present, and future.